Speaking freedom. Speaking freedom. Giving you the answers to be free. Be free. Be free. Cause we're speaking freedom. The college football playoff. Right. It's not like there's a great parody going around. There's a lot of people that believe that it's been around forever. Yeah, there is a lot of people that believe it's been around forever, and there's a lot of people that believe that it somehow leveled the playing field in college football. No. It has not. Look at the no. teams that are in the playoff this year and go look at the, the recruiting rankings from this year or go back the last couple of years. Five teams have won a college football playoff game before. Clemson. Ohio State, they're in the they're in the playoff this year. Uh, Alabama, who's not for the first time. Georgia and Oregon. Yep. Okay, and Oregon's a little bit of an outlier because they were up there for a minute, but they look like they're on their way back right now. Um, look at the recruiting rankings. <laughs> Those teams are the teams that are in the top four basically every single year. Yep. So as much as you and I, and I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe this isn't exactly how you feel about talking about recruiting, but it's how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. I understand the value of it, of course. Yeah, it's, I, the, I, I, it's the bloodline of college football. It yes, is, It is, yes. of course. I, and I, I make fun of some of the, the over-infatuation with it because I do think that it's silly. I think you and I are more prone to give credit once you get on campus and, and prove something. Yes. Because like Gary Danielson said, everybody was good in high school. Mm -hmm. And until you actually prove it in college, and you haven't actually done anything. So that's, that's the same thing when you go from college to pro. Absolutely Same right. thing. Absolutely right. So, I mean, you... Listen... It doesn't matter what field um, you are recruiting for, what specialty, what um, uh, sport, whether it's a sport or if it's a regular job or it's the mob or it's a committee or it's presidency, no matter what it is, that you have to go through and select candidates to be qualified for uh, the position that you're placing them in. Recruiting is very important and it's not a quick process. Recruiting is the most selective process that should be an establishment because being a good scout is about not only seeing the surface level qualities, but being able to also connect with that person's um, background and their story, being able to see beyond where they are, see their potential, but also not forget where they are currently. Because where they are, where they come from, and um, all those environmental aspects really, really, honestly, truthfully play a huge part in their development um, seeing the real of their potential and pushing them beyond their potential because you have to know what to do to motivate those people. You have to know what naturally motivates a person and a lot of that is found in where they come from and where one, not where you see their potential to be, but where they desire to be in the future because you may see a potential in somebody in the midst of scouting that does not see their full potential. They could be great. They could be, you know what I'm saying, superb. But if they have challenges that doesn't that doesn't allow them to see how great they truly are, if they have a mindset that isn't focused on being the greatest, and it may just be some people just, you know, go along to get along. They do what they can until they can do what they want. And that's cool. However, the scout, the recruiter, the person that goes and watch them do what they do when they do what they do best, they have to see more than just what they see on the playing field. They have to see the underlying issues, the undertones. They need to see what the person struggles with because that's the only way to see how they will become better. And a lot of times when scouting or the understanding of scouting is that we're just looking at who, who runs the fastest. Uh, we're just looking at who plays the hardest. We're just looking at who trains the most. And those things play into it. But, baby, 
those things are not the bulk of what you have to deal with because a person that runs fast can still have issues in their mindset that will stifle their growth or that will only allow them but to be so great it reminds me of the young guy that played for ohio state um 2013 um real good player and in the end he ended up being a thief like the things that he struggled with personally affected him in his career and the things that he would able be able to do socially, um, mentally. Uh, I mean, those th- those factors are important when scouting. And um, in general, something that needs to be played more into and paid more attention to is not only the scouting of the, the athletics or the uh, ability, but also the mindset, because when we begin to scout moving forward, there needs to be a great emphasis on helping them mentally mature, helping them become more responsible um, in their words, in their mindset, in their goals, in their focus. And some of that comes from helping them heal because a person that's extremely talented and great they may struggle. <laughs> they may struggle when it comes to self-esteem issues. And I'm not laughing at the fact that they may struggle when it comes to self-esteem issues or mental comprehension or anything of that nature. I am tickled because people don't realize that just because you're talented does not mean you doesn't do not have struggles. Just because you are gifted, skilled, the best of the best. That doesn't mean that you don't have to work on your mindset or that that shouldn't be a focus point that uh, scouts, recruiters, and those that are on any coaching team should play into. You have to feed the mind just as much as you feed the body. You have to feed the emotional stability just as much as you train the body. You have to feed the spiritual maturity just as much as you train the body. You have to um, make sure that you are going across the board with the things that make us human not just sports talented, not just, you know, mentally um, educated. We have to feed every single portion of the human soul in order to see the person at their fullest potential. Your bank accounts. Speaking Freedom presents Good Head Group providing advanced spiritual studies and personal developmental insight. Brought to you by Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We look forward to helping you grow in all the areas of your life. We hope that you find all the information needed for your growth. God bless. Please listen to all disclaimers provided. If you are currently under physician's care, please maintain that relationship. This is not intended to stop your current treatment plan. If you need physician care, please seek out medical attention. Please note, all results are based on the individual's ability to adapt and adjust to any given environment and situation. We are not responsible for your results at Speaking Freedom. The life enhancement coaches at Speaking Freedom provide information to help you grow. You are responsible for maintaining that growth, taking on and then applying the information to your individual life as you deem needed and necessary. This may contain and explain explicit content. Please use parental discretion. For best results, you will need an open mind, the ability to research and a balanced lifestyle. Please join us daily for your inspiration and motivation. We have the entire world to offer you at your fingertips. Your life enhancement coaching specialist. Thank you for choosing us to assist you in accomplishing your personal and professional goals. And have a beautiful day. In love, we trust. This is brought to you by Good Head Group, Love Gang, and Speaking Freedom. We thank God for you, and we love you. Hi, I'm Casey. Dr. Casey, to be exact, owner of Speaking Freedom LLC, Love Gang, and Good Head Group LLC. I am also a certified life coach, 
and host of Speaking Freedom Radio and TV. Although I have recently became an ordained minister, please be aware that I am still me, raw and uncut the way God made me and allowed life to shape me. I pray and expect God to use me for people who can receive the way I communicate as well as my delivery. I am not for those who are already saved, religious, or super deep. I am for the leaders, hustlers, and street influencers around the world, including pimps, killers, drug dealers, and working girls. I am sharing my experiences and perspective to help someone be inspired to be better. And for those who can identify with the various aspects of my mindset. My mindset alone does not determine the status of any active connections or current relationships that have not already been specifically addressed. Additionally, these recordings should not be taken personally if I have not already spoken to you about the topic or expressed that I have an issue. These recordings are a part of my life's work to document my experience, perspective, and to see how life has shaped me. My plan in using my stories publicly and socially is to encourage growth in those who can identify with the experiences and find inspiration in my life to heal and overcome the path that they've been set on, no matter what they face as according to the purpose of their soul until healing takes place. Despite the experiences that I may have had with any person, sometimes known and unknown, I hold no grudges, no no hate, no bitterness, or any other ill feelings against anyone. I pray that your life is whole and very fruitful. I forgive you as I hope that you forgive me if I have wronged you or anyone that you know or anyone who listens to me. I pray that you have peace and extend the same grace to others. I have love for everyone, especially on a human level, despite flaws or experiences. But that doesn't mean that I will associate or be close to every human that I know or meet. I've experienced a very eventful life and truly believe that my mindset and story based on experiences could help those who identify with how I think and are looking for inspiration to grow further, go beyond hurt and be great. I pray that these recordings bless you and your soul in every way and whatever way God has intended. Sending love and light to all. Thanks for listening. Achieve your dreams.